A video has surfaced of what appears to be a Putnam County deputy, Putnam County deputies rather, entering a home without a search warrant while the owner wasn't there. But the attorney who posted the video to social media alleges they've done last more. year, this homeowner had no idea law enforcement would enter his house. West Virginia civil rights attorney John Bryan posted the video January 15th, alleging deputies with the Putnam County Sheriff's Office cut the cords to an outdoor and indoor video surveillance system protecting this home. They then crawled through a window and began to roam through the homeowner's belongings without a warrant while the homeowner was at work. But officers missed two of the cameras, and that's how the incident made its way to social media. Something you see on Netflix. I mean, it, it, I wouldn't believe it if I didn't see it. And I've never seen any kind of video like this that was as brazen as that. Brazen enough to take the homeowner's friend's ashes, put them in a drug testing kit, found later, with ashes and bones still in it in the front yard. The attorney says neighbors called the homeowner. They also asked the deputies what was going on. Brian says they were told deputies were there to serve an eviction summons. The attorney says that's a civil matter and not something law enforcement does. Putnam County Sheriff Steve DeWeese tells us in a written statement today, I cannot comment at this time due to a personal issue within the department. The internal investigation into the video was ordered by myself yesterday. Brian sent a freedom of information request to the sheriff's department and found no documentation of the incident. And as the sheriff's internal investigation begins, Brian says his continues as he says more cases are emerging since the release of the video. What we're waiting for is evidence of other in, other uh, incidents to find out if this is actually a, a pattern or practice that they've engaged in there.
Kelly, the special enforcement unit has made 316 arrests just since January. Tonight, we are here in Winfield to open up the fugitive files and look for fugitives from around Putnam County. And this is the group that is here day in and day out fighting crime. When it comes to fighting crime, this group can't and doesn't do it alone. The more people that find out we're out here, the more information we're getting. They're a group of four Putnam County deputies, but together they make up the special enforcement unit. They're not undercover, even though they're not in uniform. Most people are more relaxed with us when we're out of uniform. They'll sit down and talk to you. They're out driving the streets of Putnam County every day, checking on tips called into the agency's anonymous drug tip line. A lot of times it is people calling in on their neighbors or people in their neighborhood or they observe a lot of traffic, unusual traffic at different uh, times late at night. They also serve warrants and track down fugitives in the county. Just recently, the group became deputized to work with the United States Marshals Cuff Task Force. The Marshal Service, not only do we go with them, but they're willing to come, come to our county and serve warrants as well. Since their formation, hundreds of arrests have been made. They've captured accused heroin dealers uncovered drug operations, nabbed fugitives, and all with your help. If they wish to remain anonymous, they're going to remain anonymous. We're not going to, we don't tell people where the information come from because we want more information. We want people to call us all the time. Proactive policing made possible by those who don't want crime in their neighborhood. Coming up in just a few minutes, we are going to open up the Fugitive Files live here in Putnam County. You may Now, guys, from what I understand, since this video was released, the Putnam County Sheriff's Facebook page has been frequently deleting posts that are involving this whole situation. Now, if you guys want to chip in and help to expose these criminals, I have all the contact info in the description below. I have the Putnam County Sheriff's Department's webpage. I have their Facebook and I also have the lawyer's channel that posted this video and the original link to this video in the description below. Now, if any of you all choose to call and voice your feelings and your opinion.